Oh God, God. Thank you. That's fantastic. Um, I know that I interviewed you during the scrum, and you were talking about how your family is on a mission for gold and for your daughter. Um, so, how do you feel in that fight? Do you feel proud? Is that something you kind of predicted to kind of get her out in that way? Yeah, I mean, I always want to get the finish. You know, it's kind of whatever she gave me. You know, I knew if she was backing up and kind of just letting me go for those takedowns, it would be an easy submission. But, you know, I kind of wanted to get a knockout for my daughter, but a submission will work. <laughs> Did you feel, did she tap? Like, how did that ending go? Yeah, she tapped on me, and then she said kind of tap, and then I was like, told the ref, I was like, she tapped, so that's when I kind of broke it up. Pretty dominant performance overall. I mean, how would you grade yourself after that? Um, you know, I, I could always do better. Um, I mean, it was the perfect fight to showcase all of my skills in, honestly. Um, yeah, I just want to keep fighting tough for opponents and keep moving up the ranks. The chain of submissions to, to finally get there. I mean, were you shocked at, at how long she was able to, to hang in there? I mean, did you feel like you, it wasn't locked in? or what? I mean, what was going through your mind as she just Yeah, you, in? usually when I get that arm bar and most of the girls, they tap right away. But she was kind of really flimsy, more like noodly, kind of girly feeling. So I was like, I got I to gotta keep going. You know, I got to either end up on top and finish it with elbows or move on to another submission. You've made it clear, I mean, you just want to keep fighting better and better people. You said in there, too, you want a new contract as well. Are you, are you unhappy with, with where you're at right now, or what, how would you I play? mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not where I want to be financially, so of course I want to keep getting more and more money. You know, if I'm going to be on the pay-per-view, I might as well be getting paid what the pay-per-view fighters get paid. Yeah. Where do you think you sit in the division? As I said, it's still kind of sorting itself out, but I mean, where do you see yourself in the positioning there? I mean, honestly, I'm 3-0 I'm and in the division. That's, that's the most any of the girls, most wins any of the girls have in the division, so, you know, I'm right there with the best of the best. Is there a fight that you think makes sense that would maybe demonstrate that for everybody? Um, you know, I kind of talked about fighting Paige Van Zandt just to get my man name out there a little bit more. You know, I don't know where I where I sit from here on out. Um, I think I got my name out a little bit here on this pay-per-view card. So, I mean, just whatever the UFC wants to get me. Three wins and three finishes. What What is it in, is it something in your training that makes you finish fights or is it just your fighting style? Um, yeah, my fighting style and in training, you know, in training we start in every position possible. I go over every scenario and I'm always looking for either for that tap. And what was the, the, the environment like in there and, and finishing the hometown girl? Um, you know, it wasn't much different than any of the other fights I've been in. You know, when I get in that cage and it locks, it's just me and that girl. You know, I don't really think about anybody out in the crowd. After Afterwards, I kind of look out and I'm like, wow, that was a lot of people I just fought again, uh, in front of. But uh, no, it wasn't any different than he usually is. Is there a trade-off when you are on a contract, like the Ultimate Fighter contract, which has been the source of controversy fighters have talked about it before. Is there a trade-off when you're saying, well, if I'm going to take a, a top five, top ten person, I need to be on a different contract or otherwise I'll accept opponents that are lower in ranking and there's less risk. Yeah, I mean, I think that's exactly where I stand. Um, yeah. If they're going to fight me against tougher opponents that I could, you know, I'm risking getting hurt against and moving up the ranks, I might as well get paid a little bit more. So is that, what, if they do offer you someone in the top five but it's on your current contract, you would do it? Say no to that? Yeah, I would be like, you know, can give me a lesser name fighter right. and then maybe if you want to pay me a little bit more, I'll definitely fight that top, top five yeah. opponent. And what do you think about the, the flyweight champion, um, Valentin Tevchenko? You know, I think she's very tough, of course. I mean, she's she's a champion for a reason. Um, she was almost the champion at 35, and, you know, she's a great fighter, and I'd, I'd love to go against her one of these days. Right, right now, are you, I guess, are you a full-time fighter? Is that your only job right now? Uh, yeah, I also teach at uh, Kids Jiu Jitsu, um, and then I'm a full-time mother as well. Thank you, my friend. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.